Alors, vous êtes à l'écoute de l'émission Le Protecteur. On va faire cette première entrevue avec Rania Alaloul. L'entrevue va se faire en anglais parce que Mme Alaloul s'exprime plus facilement en anglais. Mrs. Uh, Alaloul, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, thank you for uh, being with us. So, correct me if I'm wrong uh, about the facts. Tuesday, you went to court concerning a petition that uh, was presented on the court of Quebec uh, in Montreal, and uh, it was concerning your car that was seized for something regarding the SAAQ. So you are coming to the judge, and suddenly she's asking you to remove your hijab. Yes. Okay, so explain me how, how the events uh, were exactly between you and the judge. Uh, actually, in room 1411 in court Quebec, Uh, at two o'clock exactly, I went and signed, and I swear by God to say the truth. Uh -huh. The first question from the judge was to me, to me that uh, why you are wearing the scarf on your head? I told her I am a Muslim. Then she left the room about half an hour. Okay. After uh, half an hour, came, she came back to tell me that she cannot talk to me if I am wearing this scarf by law. I was surprised, really I was surprised. I told her I'm a single mom with the three boys. I came to solve the problem of my car. She stopped me. Don't tell me about your case. I ask you about your scarf. You will remove it or bring a lawyer to talk to me. I told, no need for a lawyer. I have many problems without my car. It's very cold and I take care of my three sons. Hmm. She stopped me again and she said, I don't ask you about your case. First, you have to decide about your scarf or I will reject your case. I answered, never, I will remove my hijab. Directly, she rejected my case without listening to me or to the def defendant from the sack. Okay. I was shocked, and everybody was shocked in the courtroom. Where is the justice? I am Canadian citizen. The law in the court, but no justice with this judge. Yeah, Mrs. Alalul, I think you have a case in your hands, and you were right, and uh, I can understand that you're being upset uh, and uh, this is not acceptable in a canadian society uh, uh, did, did you did you have uh, did, did you try to argue with her uh, about uh, the importance of wearing your uh, hijab it was a personal belief yes, that you were I told uh, muslim her, i'm a muslim and this is important to me long mm. years i'm wearing this hijab yeah. it, it belongs To me, it, it, it's, it, it's important to my personality and to my dressing. It's very important to me. I cannot wear It's not a hat. It's not a symbol. It's not a symbol. It's very important to me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's symbol. like, you know, it's like being a Jewish uh, person and having the kippah and going to court. Of course, we have yeah. judges that have kippahs and yeah. they're on the bench. So what's yeah. the difference with the hijab? There's no difference. It's the same thing. It's a religious symbol for your private life. And no, then no, when you go to court... Symbol. It's not a symbol. It's a must for me. Yeah. I cannot remove it. Mm -hmm. I cannot show ha my, my hair to anybody. This is, exactly. this is in my religion and uh, yeah. I'm convinced with this thing. And nobody forced me to put this hijab. Yes. I'm, I'm m m a Muslim lady and I am happy with my hijab and I'm proud that I'm putting it. Okay, and continue wearing your hijab. We'll follow the case. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck. Okay, thank okay. évidemment, on va suivre ce dossier-là euh, de très près parce que Madame, euh, Madame Alaloul euh, l'a dit, et je peux vous traduire un peu rapidement si on fait un résumé, c'est qu'elle... Euh, le hijab, le port du hijab est important pour elle. Elle le sent comme euh, un acte de foi dans sa religion et il est hors de question qu'elle l'enlève parce qu'elle doit se présenter devant un tribunal. Je vous rappellerai que la Cour fédérale, un peu plus tôt la semaine dernière, a jugé que même une femme qui porte le niqab, donc le voile intégral de la figure sauf pour les yeux, est acceptable dans le cadre d'une prestation de serment de citoyenneté canadienne. Évidemment, le jugement sera porté en appel. Je pense que la Cour suprême doit se prononcer sur ces questions-là importantes. Mais quant au hijab comme tel, qui peut être l'équivalent de la kippa pour un juif euh, qui la porte, ben, il se présente devant le tribunal. Là. Moi, je ne peux pas croire qu'un juge va dire « Écoutez, monsieur, je n'entendrai pas votre, quoi, votre, euh, votre dossier si vous n'enlevez pas votre kippa. » Ça n'a aucun sens et c'est inacceptable. Alors pourquoi on s'acharne sur cette femme-là parce qu'elle est musulmane et parce qu'elle porte le hijab la juge en question ici, là, Mme Iliana Marengo, 
l'honorable juge Iliana Marengo, que j'ai téléphoné ce matin. J'ai appelé à son bureau pour avoir des commentaires. Pas eu de retour d'appel. Pas eu de suivi. 